What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and uh, hey, we're back in another video. In today's video, we're gonna be installing a mod I've always wanted in my 435, and that is some P3 gauges. I don't know if you guys ever heard of P3 gauges, but they make these amazing gauges in the inside of your car um, that look OEM, but at the same time, they're super cool. Like, they look OEM, but they're not OEM, if you know what I mean. Before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and drop off some of you guys' packages. We're heading down to the post office, we're gonna drop those off, and then uh, we're gonna head over to my place to show you guys the new mods. Also, just out of curiosity, City guys, um, the GTS hood is here. Should we put it on? Um, I can't afford to paint it just yet. I want to paint the front bumper at the same time. And when I paint the front bumper and paint the hood, I want to uh, clear bra the front hood and the bumper. See, so yeah, I want to get that stuff done and paint it all, repaint it all. It's going to cost me at least probably some of the Bob Parker, $1,000 to $1,200. Money I don't have just yet. I haven't even paid to register this car yet, so I'm still saving up for that. It's a little rough. So um, if you guys want me to put on the hood, the GTS hood, and just rock it without the paint, let me know if you guys want to see that. Because I'm completely down. I'm super excited to put on that hood, but it won't be paint match, unfortunately. It isn't a carbon hood. It is an aluminum hood. Um, the thing is with me and carbon hoods, for me, I just found the carbon hoods never sit 100% perfect. And when you put on a carbon fiber hood, you do need to add like custom hood latches uh, to prevent it from coming up when you're, uh, you know, accelerating or anything. Like, I'm going to be taking this car down to the track, and I don't want my hood accidentally flying up, destroying the roof, destroying my windshield, destroying any part of the front end, you know, of the car. And possibly, if the hood comes up I possibly clash I wouldn't really know where I'm going so yeah a carbon fiber hood for me personally I, I'm just kind of scared of those hoods just me personally I love the way they look but uh, I just yeah I got aluminum just because I love them I trust them and they just feel like quality when you shut them and I, I don't know I'm all about that quality so yeah let me know if, you sh if I should be putting that on in the near future even though I'm not gonna be painting it right now for those of you guys who are wondering I did book an appointment for uh, the, the crank hub on this F80 so we booked it out I believe for next month uh, towards the end of the month and once we have the crank hub installed do we want to tune the car and Enjoy the car and take it down to the track because again I don't want to redline and go anything crazy on this car until that crank comes down. I'm probably over exaggerating but I, it's a real thing and I don't want anything bad happening to this motor especially considering that I can't afford if anything does bad happen to it I can't afford to fix it. Anywho we're next to the post office stop off the packages and I'll meet you guys at my place. Alright guys so we're officially back home parked the F80 in the garage um, and uh, she's just always looking like an absolute beaut guys. I absolutely love this car and I'm going to be sending it further than the 435 which is kind of like I know it sounds almost impossible to say I'm gonna send this car so hard guys I'm literally gonna do every possible thing this car um, like any modifications that this car can possibly have I'm gonna try to get it for this car I want this to be the ultimate F80 you guys will know what I mean hopefully in a couple months but obviously I'm not gonna let you guys wait so we got some mods as usual We're gonna be doing a bunch of new mods hopefully this coming week as well um, as for this you guys can see my engine covers off the car and it's actually for a very good reason just the other day, my friends from l and Solutions had a brother or a brother-in-law, and I got to meet them. They ended up getting some of the stock parts off of my F80, and uh, he actually had one of these engine covers that were already cut right over here, and I was like wondering, like, oh, that's a little weird. I guess people cut it so these things can actually look a little bit better. I don't know. What do you guys think? How does this look? Do you guys think it looks better with that part slightly cut? And obviously, it shows a little bit of wear. What I'm thinking is I'm actually going to go ahead and get this repainted to match the color of the car and keep the, uh, the, the emblem right here. I'm gonna keep all the white stuff, but all the black stuff's gonna be converted to the color of the car. Let me know what you guys think about that. But yeah, I don't know if I got his name, but he's Russ's brother from LMD Solutions. And uh, long story short, huge special shout out to him, him and his boy for giving me these engine cover. I know these engine covers go for like right, roughly like 150 to 200 dollars, so I really didn't want to cut my own, even though I saw some people do this. And uh, the fact that he was willing to just give me this engine cover for free, it just means all the world. I mean, he likes putting his cars back to stock. He got that engine cover when he bought his car, so he didn't even want it but I was just super 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 happy that I was there at the right time because he was gonna throw it out and I got to keep my original one which I'm super 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 happy about and at the same time he actually picked up my stock OEM mods off this car typically I don't like selling my stock parts recently like, on all my recent cars I've been keeping my stock parts just in case when I end up selling the car if I do end up selling the car which I don't plan on selling this one that's why I was kind of like I don't mind selling the parts you know put it back for smog and all those reasons but at the same time guys we have so many things upcoming for this car that's gonna be costing me a lot of money like registration for the first thing taxes are registration on this car is going to be very expensive and I obviously need to go pay for that first. We have a crank hub job coming up next month which is obviously going to cost a lot of money and then we're going to be painting the new GTS hood, repainting the front bumper, clearing the hood, uh, clear brawing the hood, clear brawing the front bumper and that's obviously going to be costing a lot of money. So I was like you know what I don't mind letting go of my stock parts, making some sacrifices for the bigger project. If you guys want to support the channel to smash that like button and cop some merch down below. Be supporting your man so heavily and I truly appreciate it. But without further ado getting to more mods as promised. 
Check out this P3 gauge from Keys Motorsports. So yeah guys, I ended up getting the entire vent. What's cool with P3 gauges is that actually they just sell the screen and you can put it on your original vent. As you guys can see, this is an OEM BMW vent. Like this is like the one I have in my car right now, but the gauge is already on it. I believe this is somewhere like 400 and something ish, but if you guys just want to get the gauge and install on your original one, it's literally just like just direct plug and play. I decided to just opt for this because it's just a lot, lot easier. But if you just use your original vent guys, like that's half the money. Like instead of paying 400, you're paying for literally half of that to get the same features by just using your original vent. So unless you want to pay an extra $200 for this vent, guys, I honestly recommend you just go with the screen. I just got this whole thing just because it'll make life a whole lot easier and you guys can too. Like I said, guys, Keys Motorsports has this on their website. It's gonna be linked down below if you guys find it. It's pretty awesome, but I've always wanted this on my E90, my 435. It just never really bit the bullet. And you know what? I, you know, we just had to send it on the F80, of course. So what's super cool about this, guys, is that there is no hard wiring necessary. It literally plugs straight into your OBD port. Now, what's nice about this is the fact that, yeah, it's gonna be super easy to install. The negative thing about it, if I get an LED steering wheel one day or I try to get anything to try to plug into the OBD port, I will have to unplug it. So I'm actually thinking about maybe hardwiring this eventually, but for now, we're just gonna go ahead and just easily install it, rock it for now, until we get like an LED steering wheel or something like that. Let me know, guys, should we do an LED steering wheel? I'm not really too sure. I'm thinking this time, maybe go with like a carbon fiber wheel with like either Alcantara on the sides or leather so it doesn't wear out. So maybe leather on the sides, carbon all around, maybe flat bottom, and then, uh, you know, like an Atlantis blue stripe on the top. I think that'd be super sick. Let me know, guys, if that's gonna be a pretty good option, or go with like a, you know, carbon fiber steering wheel, leather on the sides, but then having like shift lights on the top, like the LED thing. I love that, I have it in my i8, but I think, I don't know why, I feel like it'd just be a lot cleaner just to have just the stripe. I don't know, it's just my thing, I'm not sure. Let me know down below. But yeah, guys, when the time comes, I will be hitting up Azza and trying to get something custom for this car. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just remove our stock vents so we can get this bad boy in there. I'm super stoked to put this in, guys. This has been like a dream come true. I'm so happy we finally have this. Again, you guys will see exactly what this thing does in a minute. So like I said, guys, this is actually gonna be a super easy install. I just look how much steps there is to it. It's, it's, it's insane how quick it is. So yeah, pretty much the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is just pry on this. Ah, get this little bad boy out. Oh my lord, that is it. That's all she wrote. <laughs> We're literally just gonna be routing the cable down here, plugging it over here. It's that easy. And since we got the entire gauge, um, all we have to do is pretty much just transfer over the carbon fiber trim. Um, I feel like I wanna do that right now, so let's go ahead and do it right now. So first things first, let's go ahead and just take the carbon fiber trim off of this thing. I think you just pretty much pry on a couple tabs up here. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that didn't really take long. Okay, so it looks like I just popped off these three top tabs and this whole thing just comes out. So like I said, guys, you can pretty much just get this gauge, this portion right here, and just install on your original vent. It's super easy. You just have to remove these two pieces and install that part. But for us, it's literally gonna be as easy as it's installing that bad boy on. Guys, it literally took me a second to clip it in. Look how good that looks. I'm not gonna peel it just yet till it's fully installed in the car, but I love even how they have the logo right. Oh my God, that's just I'm too excited. I've always wanted this mod, guys. And I'm just super happy that the vents are an OEM product, so I'm not putting anything janky in my car. This looks so, so, so good. So we'll come back to that in a second. Let's go ahead and just make room for that cable to go all the way down. So I believe to make it easier to get the cable all the way down, we're just gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy out. Come on now. Well, actually, I think we can just, uh, can we just leave it like that? Maybe we'll just leave it like that, honestly. I think I have a good idea on how I'm gonna install it. I'm just gonna take this wire, and I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a little place next to the OBD port that can actually feed the wire into here. Let me go ahead and try to get it right out of here. Guys, I think today, this is one of the coolest mods with the easiest install. Look how, I already got the cable through, as you guys can see, right through here, right through here, and it's right there. Like, it's super easy, I can't even explain it. I mean, you pretty much just plug it in right down there. Before we actually do that, let me go ahead and just connect this. Um, there's a little box you connect this into, and then you connect the, the box into the P3 gauge and just insert it. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just, just, just do, I don't even need to do a time lapse, guys. It's, it's so easy. So like I said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just connect this to this side, and then this side's gonna go to that harness that we have in the car. So, just gonna go ahead and grab this end, connect it right over here, and now that we have this connected, I'm literally just gonna just finesse it, just put it down here. Actually, it's not even gonna take any finesse, guys, like honestly. And now that we have the wire in there, guys, let's go ahead and just feed it in the gauge, and then once we pop this in, we just have to pretty much connect it. And now that this gorgeous, beautiful baby is now installed, once it's all the way up, I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it. Oh my God, this looks so gorgeous, so seamless, so easy, so awesome. Oh my God, it lit up, guys. <laughs> it looks like it's loading or something. I'm gonna go ahead and peel it. Satisfying sound. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh my God. Guys, I am the happiest man alive. <laughs> this 
looks so good. Guys, I am not lying to you guys. I think that took me about five minutes to install. Uh, <laughs> hold up. Oh, it's going to get inside the car starter up. It is blinking. Is it working? I guess that's the question. Oh, yes it is, boys. <laughs> that looks so good. Guys, my camera is just not picking it up perfectly. Too much glare, but this thing is looking amazing. Look at the settings. You have the Fahrenheit, uh, cool. Um, okay, there's that. There is speed. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you have a speed gauge right here. Um, I don't know what that said. Uh, shift, okay, okay, I guess that's RPMs. Yeah, that's definitely RPMs. Oh man, that's sick. There's throttle, there's so many options. Zero to 60? What? Oh my, boost. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to leave, we're gonna have to set it at that. Go ahead and turn on those little bad boys. Oh, God bless. <laughs> oh my God, guys, it actually works. And is that kind of like a, like a boost limiter or something up here? Right, guys first time getting inside the car it literally works so seamless like I really don't have to even touch it It starts up when you start up the car, which is super nice and guys it just looks like an OEM mod I just absolutely love it. All right, you know what? I think my favorite gauge is definitely the rpm gauge This is the most accurate gauge and it just it just looks so sick because it's basically like it has a rev limiter instead of right here right over there which i think is pretty awesome we are heading over to bmw because we got to pick up the i8 so we dropped it off for its final services it is pretty much expiring on its warranty so we got the battery checked thankfully everything is great in the day we have a 10-year warranty on that so we are chilling the alarm apparently because whenever i locked the car the alarm was going off it turns out that the reason the alarm was going off uh, was because my my steering wheel was connected and it could have been anything so if I plugged in like an OBD scanner a uh, Carly into an i8 uh, The i8 freaks out so like OBD scanners uh, dash cams anything at all It's kind of weird the i8 the just is very sensitive to stuff like that that would drain the battery uh, So then the alarm just goes off I, I, or I think it's some kind of safety thing uh, So at least we figured that situation out. We'll figure out what we're gonna do with the LED steering wheel But um the last thing we ended up doing was the brake fluids the brake fluids wasn't needed to be changed But since the warranty was expiring um, I, I just wanted them to do it. And thankfully, they did do it. So uh, we're graving the Navy. We're pretty much set for, you know, the next 50,000 miles. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And I hope they cleaned it. The best thing about taking your car to BMW, especially I didn't pay a penny, the God bless warranties, um, is when you get it back from them, they actually wash the car for you. And they're washed like, oh, so satisfying. So let's go ahead and pick her up. And hopefully, uh, she is clean. Oh, my God, guys. Honestly, Nilo BMW is just beautiful. I love this place. Oh, buddy. All righty. Is the i8 around here? Oh. Oh, buddy, look how it's posted. Sheesh. All right, guys, we just got the car back. Everything's gravy in the Navy. So they did the brake fluid flush. Unfortunately, um, this is way dirtier than it was when I brought it. Oh, man, this is... Oh, man. <laughs> I guess I guess you win some, you lose some. Sheesh, Nilo, come on, guys. I mean, I appreciate you all the service, but I mean, the free car wash wouldn't hurt. Guys, we are here at the end of the video. The iron is officially clean. It looks so, so, so good when it's clean. 
I've never been a huge white car guy until I actually got this i8. I absolutely just love the pearl white. It just looks so good. I think this is one of the best whites on a BMW. I believe this is something called like emerald pearl or I don't know what it's called exactly, but this is such a nice paint color for the i8. But anyway, now that it's all cleaned up, I don't want to bash on Nilo or anything. I mean, I would have I would have loved, honestly, the complimentary wash, uh, which I'm assuming because we got it so late in the day that they didn't actually have somebody that could wash the cars. Uh, but what I'm super happy about is the fact that they actually checked everything I wanted them to check. This thing doesn't actually have a certified pre-owned warranty, but it has a warranty that covers engine and transmission with them since I bought it. And it's gonna be expiring quite soon, but they actually cover everything as if it's a certified pre-owned. Like, they've been just helping me out, doing all the services for free. We did the spark plugs, oil change, uh, brake fluids, air filters, they did all that for free. So that, I mean, huge shout out to them. When I actually bought the car from Irvine, they told me that this stuff was not covered, I believe. They said something about how like, if you have any major issues with it, we'll take care of it. If it's any little things, um, those are not covered, especially cosmetics are not covered. But even like the door hinge, uh, they actually fixed that at Nilo, so huge shout out to them. I had them check the battery system to make sure the batteries are great in the Navy and everything checks out there. It was one of my worrisome, I was hoping that there's no issues with the battery because I'm gonna be keeping it past the warranty. I don't want anything going bad on it, but thankfully everything's good there. And on top of that, I actually found out there's a 10 year warranty on this battery, which is absolutely perfect. And then I also had them check why the alarm just goes off randomly, and it's because I have actually something connected to the OBD port. I think it's some kind of safety thing, so we're gonna go ahead and try to figure out how to code that out, like an OBD, um, like, I don't know, like, I don't know what it is exactly, guys, but we're gonna go ahead and see if we can code that out so I won't have the alarm going off anymore, but at least they figured out what it is. And again, all this diagnosing and everything they're doing, they actually should be charging me for it, but they're actually really hooking it up, and I truly appreciate them. And this is why after the i8 is officially out of its warranty, I'm still gonna take it to them for the oil changes, the air filters, everything, mainly because I want everything documented on the Carfax, and honestly, guys, the, the maintenance on this car is cheaper than any other BMW I've ever owned. There's only three spark plugs, <laughs> so that makes the labor super cheap. Like, I think I pay like labor and parts together, it's like 250 or 300 or something like that. Like, it's something really cheap to do the spark plugs. I think maybe actually three, 400 actually, to be more realistic. But on a typical BMW, it'd be about five to 600 for spark plugs, I think even more sometimes, so. Yeah, this is pretty cheap to do. Obviously, if you go buy spark plugs yourself, um, three, four hundred dollars is a lot. But I mean, for a car like this, you want everything documented on the Carfax. Three, four hundred is not that bad. If oil change for this car is only a hundred and twenty dollars, which is insane. So I'm always taking it to BMW for the oil change, mainly because again, I want it to be documented. And in terms of the Blake fluid, the Blake fluid I believe is not the cheapest thing in the world, but that's why I got it done before the warranty, so we're good for another at least like thirty to fifty thousand miles. So we're all gravy in the Navy there. But yeah, guys, if you guys like the P3 gauges on the F80 M3, make sure to check out Keys Motorsports down below. Huge special shout out to them for working with me on this exact gauge thing because I absolutely love the F80 M3 and I want to do every little detail to it from the interior to the exterior, do a bunch of retrofits from like extended leather dash, heads up display, um, a backup camera, we need Apple CarPlay. I want to do a bunch of crazy things to that car, everything in the book. So if you guys are enjoying the build so far, make sure to smash the like button. Hopefully in the next video, I'm gonna be trying to get some track things on the car. Um, we did also get a couple other things in the mail today, and we're getting a couple more things tomorrow. So I'm gonna be trying to focus on getting some of the track parts on there because if we're gonna be taking it down to LA, also just in case there's anything on the road, I don't want the car getting damaged or, or leaking oil or anything at all. Just being safe, better safe than sorry. But yeah, guys, without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Don't forget to use code NOR5 at Keys Motorsports.